three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. The veteran Jeremy Patley making his debut. The Cage Warriors veteran Steve Amiable standing opposite. This is going to be an incredible bout at 145 pounds. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to welcome all our international viewers to the broadcast. You're getting a bonus fight here on the main card between Steve Diddy Kong Amable in the camo and Jeremy Petley in the blue. Petley making his Cage Warriors debut here tonight. Steve Amable. This is his 12th consecutive bout in the famous yellow gloves. Both these guys have been around the block on the UK circuit and beyond. I like the movement here of Petley early. He's changing the space between him and his opponent. You can see Amiable's kind of waiting, ready to try and counter him as he steps in, but Petley's stepping in and out and trying to work that inside leg from his southpaw stance. You see Amiable looking to land his counter shots. Now he's closed the range down a bit. His opponent is within reach. Nice stinging kicks there from Steve Amiable early on. We're going to take the wheels out from underneath Jeremy Petley. I feel like Petley's trying to set up a, a real straight left. He's like testing the range between them to see if he can get the counter of Aimable to be thrown. There it is again, he keeps testing. Nice right hand there from Steve Aimable. Petley really has come on over the years. I remember seeing him when he was first starting out in the UK MMA circuit, and he was very much just a wrestler. Very well-rounded game on him now, as we're seeing here with the strikes, mixing up the kicks as well. His attack and defense is really good. He's now started to check those inside low kicks with his shin as well, which will definitely discourage Petley from throwing more. I say that just as he throws one. <laughs> oh, he goes high this time. Good work from Amable to catch the kick there, though. Patney training out of the London Fight Factory and GB top team, so you see Brad Pickett in his corner there. Jack Mason, a long-time coach and cornerman of Steve Amable, one of the most storied Cage Warriors veterans himself. The guys at BKK Fighters know all about what it means to compete in the yellow gloves. Good movement here from Petley. Just out of the range of a lot of these shots from Aimable. Nice jab there from Steve Aimable, and there's the takedown entry from Petley, but a good defense there from Aimable. It's way too strong, that was. And a nice sprawl here. Yeah, look at the power behind these uh, these takedown defenses. I mean, immediately being able to get those underhooks and then just throwing everything on top of his opponent to really stuff the takedowns, and that's got to be disheartening. I also love how he just shoves him off afterwards just to, just to put a full stop on the end of it. It's like a, a demonstration of dominance in that exchange. You'd imagine with, with Petley being such a veteran, any sort of shows of gamemanship probably aren't going to get into his head, but it must feel good for Steve Amable nonetheless. Going to build that confidence up inside him. Another takedown attempt. This time he's able to power through it, and Amable on one foot, one knee here, and Petley immediately looking to lock up a near side hook to try and get to the back position, but thinks better of it instead thinks to try and drag his opponent away from the fence and complete this takedown. But Amable doing a great job. He's trying to, to strip these grips and try and disconnect these hands. Once those hands are apart, it becomes very difficult to generate the same sort of power and control from this clinch position. And I mean, he, he, he just looks very calm from here, and Petley finally able to get him down, but you see how he's straight popping back up. I mean, never, never gave up that defense onto the elbow, back onto the knee, back to standing. And, I mean, he's looking pretty calm and collected from here. Again, dragging him down, right hand on the floor from Aimable, trying to get back to the feet straight away. 
He's got to be careful about exposing the back too much, but so far using that fence really nicely to stop Petley from continuing to get round and secure a proper back position. You've got to think right now, I mean, Amabu is the more efficient of the two defending these attempts instead of Petley, who's really aggressively hunting this. It, it is worth acknowledging the amount of energy that's being expended trying to finish this takedown. Yeah, that's Amable's, exactly what I mean, yeah. I mean, Stain's very relaxed, isn't he? Exactly, exactly. Amable's doing just enough to stop the takedown, whereas Petty's doing everything he can to try and get it. The fight goes on, especially these grappling, intense fights like we're seeing here. Yeah, there really is a great atmosphere in here. I mean, the air feels thick. You can feel the tension in here, not only from the fighters that are competing, but everyone that's waiting to see their friends and family compete on the main card as well. The energy is going to maintain all the way through this main card. And a great bonus fight on the main card to get us started here. Yeah, absolutely. This is one I've been looking forward to all week, seeing two real veterans of the circuit. Oh! Lovely takedown defense by Amable. I mean, the speed on those sprawls is just insane. Almost sliding off of uh, Petley as he shot there. I'm impressed by Amable's patience in this one, to be honest, because, especially because of the movement of Petley, I was expecting Amable to want to close him down quicker, try and get his hands on him and rough him up in the clinch instead of allowing him this movement on the outside that looks quite exhausting to deal with from Amable's perspective. Yeah, Amable looking really composed, isn't he? Nice kick to the inside of the thigh there from Steve Amable. Is it just me or have we seen some of the zip of uh, Petley leave him since the first round? He seemed a bit more a bit more active in the first round. Maybe it was that takedown attempt being locked onto the body lock for a... A hundred percent. He was fighting so hard for that takedown and it's such a it's such a high output position to try and drag someone down. And when Amable was just defending it, doing the least amount that he had to do in order to stay on his feet, it's exhausting. Oh, a nice little feint there. Came high with the kick. The reset, and the ball taking the center of the cage. So we're in the slightly smaller of the two Cage Warriors cages tonight, I believe. Does tend to lend itself to a little bit more action. That was a nicer entry, but still, Amable able to shrug off the, the takedown so easily. Little cut just across the bridge of the nose there from Jeremy Petley, but you know, this guy's been in some wars over the years, so he's probably going to have a bit of scar tissue around the face and eyes. It's that jab of Aimable that's doing the business this round. You know, he keeps touching him on the nose with it. There's not a great deal of power behind it, but it's interrupting Petley's approach every time. Lovely inside low kick. Just keeps stinging him on the end of the jab and forcing him to reset his attack maintaining the space between them and also giving him a bit more space to read that takedown attempt as well when it's coming. Nice right hand there from Amable. Looking very, very comfortable in here, standing in front of Tetley. Tetley with a nice leg kick, though. Kind of a hard fight to score, this is, because, you know, Tetley's on the outside most of the time initiating the takedown attempts and not being successful but he has been accumulating shots all the way through yeah. this as well and Amable is waiting a lot of the time there we go again nice combination there from Petley maybe getting a bit of a second wind here he's using that little draw every time you see him drift towards his back foot it's like he's trying to get Amable to chase him so he can hit him with counters. He moves in, then he moves back. That was a nice jab again from Amable. Good feints on the outside from Petley. Yeah, just trying to bait his man into something. Oh, but that was a nice right hand down the pipe there from Amable. Folds it up with another. Petley blocks the head kick. This is what we need to see from Amable. We need to see him opening up a little bit. We need to see him start to put his strikes together on the end of that jab so he can start to catch his opponent while he's dazed. Petley on the outside, dictating the space. Of course, you can catch him as he steps in, but you also can't judge when he's going to step in and what he's stepping in with. That's better again from Amable. 
and jab from a southpaw stance now. Yeah, aimable striking in recent years has come on leaps and bounds. Nice combination there. That's 20 seconds of the second round. Aimable looking very comfortable here. Oh, a couple of times he's been close with that high kick. Oh, nice elbow there from Petley on the way in. Spinning back fist attempts as well. Wait a moment's notice. He'll fight anybody you might be able to punch in the face. So I think Aimable started to really find his range in that last round with the jab. You know, he established his confidence early in the second round. Then at the end of the second round, he started to stitch his strikes together. And now we're seeing a bit more wear on the face of Petley. He's, he's a little bit more flat-footed, a little bit more timid to step in because he keeps eating this jab from Aimable, whose confidence is clearly on the rise. I think he's going to try and get him set up for that high kick again here. You can see Petley keeps dipping towards the back leg of Aimable. If I'm Aimable, I'm throwing a jab over his lead shoulder and I'm going to try and get him to slip onto that kick. Ooh, that was a good counter. And the crowd trying to get behind Jeremy Petley here. You'd think he may have to do something dramatic in this third round. Momentum certainly on the side of Steve Aimable up to this point. Definitely controlling the centre much better this round as well. Hard chop to the inside of the leg. Good set on that level change. Could we have a setup for a ninja choke here perhaps? I mean, potentially, he's definitely got that arm underneath the neck there, but I think more importantly, this is certainly one of the strongest positions in the going for a takedown that Petley's got to so far in this fight, apart from that last takedown he got early in the first. But Aimable's, it's not just the, the, the defensive wrestling in the stand-up. Once you get him down, he just pops or so far, you know, it'll be a little bit different to the first round than this third round, but he still looks by far the more energetic of the two. So it'll be quite interesting to see if Petty does manage to get Aimable to the ground, whether he's going to be able to hold him there for any significant portion of time. It's like he's trying to set this takedown up again here, Petley. Yeah, he's trying to circle him up uh, to the fence there. And perhaps another level change. Oh, they both had the same idea then. Both of these guys have been out of the cage for 11 months apiece. But certainly not look, looking like there's any ring rust here. Not at all. I mean, they both look like they were competing last weekend, to be honest, the way that they're... They, they started fresh in the first round and they've maintained this pace. Aimable looks very relaxed. Of course, you know, we, we talked about guys, 20-plus pro fights, competing over a decade. They, they know what they're doing. They know that they know what condition they have to be in to compete at this level. That's it. There's definitely a familiarity that, that does help, especially when you get into these later rounds and you don't exactly know how the fight's going. You can stick to a game plan and keep yourself safe. Aimable showing great discipline here. Not overextending himself at all, picking his shots really well. Yeah, really finding a way through that guard, and we saw Petley's corner there asking him to keep that guard a little bit higher, a little bit tighter. Nice left hand there by Petley, he goes for the takedown. Another incredible sprawl by Steve Aimable. I mean, these really are some of the fastest sprawls you could possibly see. And again, look how deep this uh, single leg position is. I mean, it's a great position for Petley against anyone else. You know, at this point with most people, you're thinking, oh, he's probably going to secure this finish. But Abel was so different, so so difficult to keep, well, to get on his back to begin with. And if he gets there, you're going to have an even harder time keeping him there. He utilizes this base hand to so that far side hand. I mean, it can expose you to uh, a back take. It's something that Petley thought about in that first round. He hasn't really revisited that in any of these attempts, and he doesn't seem to be thinking about it too much now. 
I mean, it must be quite frustrating. He spent, uh, uh, between this and, and, and the first round, he spent a decent proportion of time in this back clinch position. You expect to be able to take someone down and hold him. As soon as his pack hits the ground, aim ball straight back onto that hand and using the fence to stand back up. And we're seeing it over and over again. You know, what you have to be doing if you want to try and keep someone down, I mean, it's irrelevant at this point with 20 seconds left, but you've got to be trying to circle them off of the fence. He's aimable using the fence as a tool, and, I mean, look at that. In his attempt to try and finish the takedown, Petty finds himself on his back for the last 10 seconds of this fight. Aimable looking for a big finish there. And that was three hard rounds in the featherweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Our judges' score is about 30, 27, 29, 28, and 29, 28. In favor of your winner, by way of unanimous decision, in the red corner, Stan Titicum Hamable. Well, the home